Today on Trisha, the secret lives of gold diggers exposed. Their bodies are their business. How would you rate yourself in bed? I'm the best at what I do. I'm the best at $6,200 in my hips and my ass. I give her like the puppy dog eyes and I'll say, can I borrow $10,000? And business is booming. I attract men with money. I was making two to three thousand a night. Strippers, gigolos, and professional mistresses. Do you do this for money? Well, of course. <laughs> if somebody makes in three weeks, I'm making one night. I'm not gonna waste all of this behind a desk. Gold diggers exposed. The outrageous techniques they use to target married men and women. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some female inside. She's gonna take me home and she's gonna pay all my bills. I mean, I do feel bad for their wives, but it's the husband's fault because they're gonna find women regardless of who it is. I'll see the size of the rock on her finger. Next thing you know, I'm down there swiping the dude's ATM card. The staggering number of luxury gifts lavished upon them. 2009 BMW, 2008 Porsche. Like, I'm going out and getting taken on trips. And Investment property. Why am I going to spend my money when yeah, somebody else can pay for this? Surely that is prostitution. Gold diggers exposed. Do they pay a price for sleeping their way to Easy Street? Are you okay with being oh, a rental trophy? Right there. There's the end. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can get lonely. Strippers and gold diggers. If you're not giving up the booty, you're not getting the bounty. It's that simple. <laughs> <Definitely not. laughs> Today on Trisha. Hi, right, today's show is all about the money. In the next hour, you are going to meet young, beautiful men and women, some who say they will use their looks and sexuality to squeeze every dollar, every cent out of the opposite sex. Call them gold diggers, call them entrepreneurs, you decide. So this is Michelle. Um, now, Michelle is here today because she's desperate for her daughter, Honey, to stop working as a stripper. You see, Honey considers herself a businesswoman. Yeah, she dances for dollar bills, lots and lots of dollar bills. Honey claims she loves what she does and she can't ever see herself quitting the business. So listen to Michelle's story. I hate it that my daughter's a stripper. She gave her morals up by letting men throw money and her bending over and picking it up in front of them. It's frustrating. It's just so heartbreaking that she does this to me after I fed her and bathed her and nurtured her. Honey and I argue about her stripping all the time. She's 26 years old. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know if my daughter has sold her body for sex. I wonder about it a lot. And I just don't want my daughter to get involved in any type of prostitution. And I hope that she's not. Honey stripping has ruined our relationship at times. She has quit calling me, uh, changed her phone number on me. My biggest fear about Honey's career is dying. Leaving there at night, anyone can, can follow you home. They can rape you, they can kill you. And I don't want that for my daughter, I love her. Well, as one mom to another, I can't imagine. What, what mother in their right mind want this for their child? Yeah, Ooh, uh. There's men, perverts, murderers, drug addicts, drug dealers, married men. Yeah. I don't want married men looking at her like that. But are you frightened that she's doing more than just stripping? Do you think she might you be know, prostituting herself? I, I, I know other strippers, and I do know how they are. Yeah. Um, some do prostitute. A lot of them do drugs. They drink. I know she drinks. I hope to God she's not prostituting. Has drinking been an issue for her? Yes. And I understand why she got drunk and, and, and got... Uh... She got an initials on her leg. When she was drunk, she doesn't even know who the person is. And she laughs about it. She laughs about it. And I understand that Honey's had some surgery. Her behind. It's disgusting. Look at it. You'd, you'd, it's when... too big for her body. I mean, why do that? Why... Do you ask her? Do you ask her? It doesn't matter what I think. She pays her own way. So what do you wish? I wish that she would stop doing this and degrading herself. I, I want her to go back to school, get her GED. You know, go to nursing school. Yeah. That's yeah. what she loved. I always thought she was going to be a surgeon. 
Always. OK, well, Michelle's daughter, Honey, has been backstage listening to everything her mum has had to say. But before we bring her Honey out, let's take a look at her story. I got started in the business because my best friend took me to a private party and I seen all the money. So I was like, this is what I need to be doing. I was making two to 3000 a night. That's when I knew I was going to be stripping for the rest of my life. My mother accuses me of doing drugs and alcohol all the time, but I'm not doing them. That's just her opinion and it ain't true. I'm not fixing to sit behind a desk and waste my body. If somebody makes it three weeks, I'm making one night. I'm not going to waste all of this behind a desk. I've invested $6,200 in my hips and my ass. So what? It looks good. It makes me my money. I don't give men my name and number. Not unless they come in a club and spend over $500 and they have to come back again. If you have a vagina, you'll never be broke. It's the one good thing about being a woman. Well, let's meet her. Please welcome Honey. You know what interests me? You said if you have a vagina, hang on, if you have a vagina, you'll never be broke? No, of course not. Why would you be broke? So does that mean you're prostituting no. yourself? No, no, no. I am a stripper. I am an exotic entertainer. Yeah. I'm not a prostitute. I show my body for money. I don't have sex for money. Why do Big you have difference. to show your body? Why? Because I'm I not going to that way. I'm not going to work a nine to five and make way. eight dollars an I hour. Did. I raised three children. I worked three jobs. But I'm not you. Everybody is different. I'm not you or my other two sisters. You're a part of me. Of I made I you. Am. I love you, but I'm not going to be that person that you want me to be. Because I'm me. That's not going to change. Do you think you'll be doing this for the rest of your life? I'm not say the rest of my life, but I'm going to do it until I'm to a point where I can own a business, where yeah. I can put my money in, into something. So you're what? You've been doing this for how, how long have you Nine been doing years. it? And where are you at? In a good place. $6,200. You place. should have a business already, shouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, but see, I didn't pay but for you that. you blew that money did. away. Somebody else oh, did that. It away. So, so have, you, have you saved up a lot of money? You must have saved up hundreds and thousands by yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, I've ran through a lot, a lot of money. But as we think as strippers, no. we think as, OK, we can blow this money. But at the end of the day, I can always go back to work and, and what make my money back. when you're 50? I'm going to have a business or I'm going to have a rich man. Down to your knees. I'm going to have, and I'll give a rich man to fix that when my ass falls that, excuse what me, rich when man it falls. Wants you? Is anything for free if a guy smacks you on the backside? That's free. No, if he sm if I'm in the club and he decides to tap my butt, uh, give me, you need to give me some money, $10. You need give me, you're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. I don't take my clothes off on stage if there's $1 being you put on stage. You should not oh, no, do no. that. So I keep my clothes on. Well, that's you your opinion. You shouldn't do that. That's you don't get opinion. paid for somebody to touch you. It's sacred. Your body is sacred. I do get paid. But that's what I do. Oh, well, well, that's what y'all, that's how y'all think. That's not, that's, this is what. Have, have you tried doing something else? Have you tried any I tried other? one time for okay. my mom. What I did to you make her happy at one point in time. I tried to bartend How and did I didn't make <laughs> so I like why because am I gonna attitude. Oh, I'm interested in how much you spent on your <laughs> your behind you had what? You had sixty two hundred dollars. But done. and what did you have done? You spent that that, that was no, your own money? other people bought that. Why am I gonna spend my money? What do you mean other people? Why why am I gonna why am I gonna show I mean why am I gonna spend my money when yeah, somebody look. else can pay for this? Hang on, what do, you do, do, do you have a daughter? Hang on, hang on. Do you hang have on. a daughter? Hang on, what, 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 what? Who, who said it looks good? You said it looks good? Stand up for me. Look good. You don't have a you. daughter? Do you have a daughter? No, I don't, but to each his own, she's grown. If that's what she wanna do, you cannot no. tell her what to do. Thank she's you. not 18. When she's you have 26. Child, when you I have two, I have a 19 year old and a 14 year old. And when he's 26, you I let them do what they wanna you do. You don't have a daughter. Well, it is what you're, it is. You're the son. because I don't know about this. What exactly? Can you show us what, what do they do? What have you had done? I had my butt done. Does it feel solid or? You want to touch it? No. You sure? No. <laughs> I would let you do it for free. I would let you do it. I love it. I You'd let, let you me do it for, for free. free? You can for touch free? it. So in a few years time, where would you be? In a big house married to a rich man. So or that's, a woman. So that's not. Oh, this is the easy way out. It's the easy way out. So you will be with the highest bidder. Yeah. Sounds about right to me. So what does that sound like? I think, you know what, um, sometimes 
I'm going to sound really boring and old-fashioned. There's a great book called Pilgrim's Progress, and basically what it says, it's sometimes the easy way out proves to be the toughest road to travel. Could be. Yeah. Could be. But, look, thank you for being so honest. Okay. I think you and your daughter are going to have to agree to disagree and maybe she can make rules about how she keeps in touch with you and that you don't bring up what she does and that she can maintain a relationship on some level. But it seems to me the more you rail against it, the more she's going to kind of do the na 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 thing. So maybe yeah. you need to just... It's going to be hard, hard as a mum. It's hard as a mother. Yeah. And I, I thank both of you for being so honest. And, uh, honey, if you ever change your mind... Stranger things have happened. Come back and tell us. It would be interesting to know, you know, well, how definitely, turn out. but I don't think that it's going to happen. But I definitely will if you did. It's oh, been yes. nice meeting both of you. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. We will be right back. See you in a minute. Up next, Sarah, tell us what exactly is a professional mistress? I mean, it's not only married men. It's really just rich, wealthy men. I attract men with money. Married men is like the most convenient. And later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some female inside. She's going to take me home. Then she's going to pay all my bills. Gold diggers exposed. You're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Chicken. OK, please welcome Sarah. Now, Sarah says she is a professional and she is excellent at her job. So what does she do? Well, Sarah claims she is a professional mistress. Ooh. Yeah, Sarah is proud of the fact that she only dates very rich, very generous, married men. So let's take a look at the day in the life of Sarah, the professional mistress. Hi, I'm Sarah Oliver, and welcome to my world. So in the past four years, these are all the trips that have been taken care of from different guys to go on. And I buy one magnet per city so I remember where I go. So here are some of my cars. I have the BMW, which I got for Valentine's Day. I also got this Porsche for my birthday. And my all-time favorite is Escalade. It's like my everyday car. I love jewelry. I got this band, which is a carat and a half. I have a Dior watch now that my new man bought me. Also, this ring, which is a $40,000 engagement ring. Whoa, not a bad haul for someone who just provides companionship. So, Sarah, Sarah, tell us, what exactly is a professional mistress? I mean, it's not only married men. It's really just rich, wealthy men yeah. that like to have a good time with a woman, and it's not always sex involved. They just oh. want a pretty girl on their arm. Do you do this for money? Well, of course. <laughs> so doesn't that make you a prostitute, though? No, because I don't have sex with them. No, no. Well, tell me. Okay. I would what, say what's, what's out the of the past men that I've talked to, I've maybe had a sexual relationship with three of them. So do they know? That, or, or are they thinking when they get into a relationship with you that they're going to have sex or is it not, just for the company? I mean, not always because I've actually told a couple of them up front, like, I'm abstinent. Unless, like, I'm going to be with you, I'm not going to have sex with you. One of the things I noticed when we saw mm -hmm. a montage of the guys that you, mm -hmm. you have met, right? they were all men of color. They were all black. Most, yeah, I would say 90%. Why is that? I mean, just like stereotypes for one. I guess below the pants is usually better. Do you feel bad for the wives if these gen gentlemen, if these men are married, do you feel bad for I them? I mean, I do feel bad for their wives, but it's the husband's fault because they're going to find women regardless of who it is. So if, if mm -hmm. you are your mm -hmm. business, as it were, mm -hmm. do you have to do a lot of work to maintain the goods, if I can put it like that? I've had my boobs done twice. You had your boobs done? Yeah. OK, all right. And you, you said uh, you've had a lot of gifts over the years, and I think you, you've given us a list. And so, yeah, let's run through that list. Okay, you ready for this out here? Okay, so these are the gifts that you've got over, what, the last? Four to five years. Four to five years. A $40,000 engagement ring, 
5K engagement <laughs> ring, 2,500 princess cut ring, 5,000 Dior watch. I'm only like that far on here. Let me just pick out some things. Uh, vehicles, the 2008 Escalade. Oh, custom paint and 26 inch rims. 2009 BMW, 2009 Mercedes, 2008 Porsche, Panorama, four door. Investment property. What are you going to uh -huh. do? This is a serious question. What are you going to do when you no longer have the looks to be the arm candy. When I'm 45, I'm getting a facelift. Like, I'm not gonna look 45. like- 45? I mean, how do you get a, I don't know. Well, I haven't had a facelift. I don't know how old you are. I'm 54. Mm -hmm. You got a nice face. guest MJ is a rapper and also considers herself a professional mistress. Now she's made a headline or two with the married men she's dated and we had a chance to sit down with MJ and get her take on dating married men. I attract men with money. I attract married men and I attract men that want to have fun. I attract men that just enjoy me. Married men is like the most convenient. They're not your business, you can do whatever you want to do. They go home to their wives and you go to your own life and do whatever you want to do. Married men are actually jealous. They don't like their mistress or their other woman dating other guys. And they're married, so I never could understand that. But enjoy the time while you're with them, because it's short-lived. Get the money, be smart, save it, invest. And then when they're gone, back to their wives and back to their lives and the relationship's over, you still have something for yourself. Oh, welcome MJ to the show. Hi, MJ. Hi, how are you? Sister? Good, thank you. So what made you start dating married men? Um, I started dating married men because it was convenient and I liked the benefits of it. Receiving gifts, going on trips, and then not having them be a headache to you or you don't have to like deal with them on don't, a constant basis. Don't you want a relationship though at some stage? Of I've been in a, a few relationships and maybe one of them cheated and the other one was broke and we struggled together and yeah. I had to take care of them so that deterred me completely. Do they have to be rich? They don't have to be rich but they have to have some type of money because I'm not going to take oh. care of one. Okay what are the disadvantage, uh, disadvantages? The disadvantages definitely would be being lonely sometimes, because sometimes oh. it can get lonely. I mean, <laughs> you can't go to bed with bags and jewelry and cars. And, no. You know, you can't go to bed with that. So. Okay. Now, how many men do you think you've dated at the same time? Um, at the same time? Yeah. Well, they're really jealous. One thing about married men, they're jealous. They don't like you yeah. dating other guys, but of course... Hang on, they're married, and they don't like you dating other guys. Go figure. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. But what, and I, this is a question to both of you, what if you were to fall in love with one of these guys? Has that ever happened? I have, actually. You did? And yeah. what did you do? <laughs> well, I had a problem, um, because I fell in love, I expected him to leave his wife, um, and he, of course, he didn't. Yeah. And then that's when I kind of just started dating more than one at a time. What about the wives? How do you feel about them, MJ? I didn't take the vow, you know, to be married. They did. So. Yeah. I mean, um, do, do I have envy a, them? Do, do I envy them? I don't envy them because, you know, I know they're empty on the inside. You know what I mean? But I know their lives, yeah, maybe I envy their lives because I get to do that stuff for a weekend, go out on yachts, ride on private jets for a weekend or a couple days. Yeah. This is their life, you know what I mean? This is the same question I asked Sarah. What are you going to do when your looks no longer attract the men? Now, you've got a little boy. What are you teaching him about life and about men? I'm teaching my son... <laughs> I'm teaching my son to be a respectable man. And then his father's in his life to teach him the proper way to go also. Here's where I'm confused. If you're having a relationship with a man and it's kind of understood he will give you something uh, financial or, or a gift in return, right. surely that's the oldest profession in the world. Surely that is prostitution. <laughs> I don't... And that's what I asked you. I'm like... and it, and... And it is. It is a form of prostitution, but it's been going on from the beginning of time, and it's going to continue to go on. And so you're a prostitute? I wouldn't say I'm a prostitute, no. 
I mean, I don't walk on corners. I don't walk on corners and, you know, I'm not asking me for money. I receive gifts right. for spending time. And it's not all about sex. Right. Prostitutes right. is about sex. It's not all about sex. These men want to spend mm. time with us. They want to sit down really and mope about their wives and tell us what's right. wrong in their households. Yeah. So we're they like want... counselors mm. and psychiatrists and all that at the end of the well, day. Well, counselors exactly. and psychiatrists would probably come a lot cheaper. To <laughs> exactly. <the men>. Way <laughs> cheaper. Maybe so. Way cheaper. We will be back after this. Coming up. I'll see the size of the rock on her finger and I'll know that somebody has a lot of money. So the next thing you know, because I'm good looking, you know, we're in bed and I'm down there swiping the dude's ATM card. And later. Do you consider a 61 inch television a luxury gift? It's not. Get out of here. That what, was on the bottom me? of the list. Do you see oh. the ring, the cars, Listen. the anything? Listen. Exposed. You're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Twitter. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been talking so far to Sarah and MJ, who say they are professional mistresses. Okay, sitting next to them is Robert. This is Robert. Say hello to Robert. <laughs> Robert calls himself a male gigolo. Basically, he has very wealthy, mostly married women, giving him money in exchange for sex. So, how's business these days? Business, business is booming. So, tell me how the conversation goes. It'll be like she'll come up to me and ask me if I'm single, and then I'll see the size of the rock on her finger, and I'll know that somebody, either her or that dude, poor sucker, has a lot of money. So then, dollar signs start going off in my eyes. And right. then, next thing you know, because I'm good looking, you know, we're in bed and... Yeah. Okay. And I'm down there swiping the dude's ATM card. Do you, do you ask them for money, or how does that conversation come up? Well, I think, like, instead of beating around the bush, I mean, if, if I'm with an older woman, I mean, obviously I want money, so I'm, just, I'm not going to hide the fact of what I'm doing. You know, I'm going to come right out of the gate and just say, what do you go say? to the bank. What, what I'm like... Well, no, I, I give her, like, the puppy dog eyes, and I'll say, can I borrow $10,000? $10,000? $10, so to to a girl that makes millions, it's nothing. And they give you that money? Yeah. They give you that money. Wouldn't you? Huh? Wouldn't you? What? No. no. <laughs> Come on. Hey? Hang on, just a minute. So you're saying, when you say older woman, you're talking what age? 60, 70? No, I, I, it's too old for me. No, 40, 40 to 50. 40 to 50. Okay, so I'm already out of your league. No, you're not out of my league. Yeah. You got a lot of money. <laughs> I'm 54. That's okay. You're hot. And you got your own show here. I know you got money. She probably has a black man at home, so she's good. I have a white man at home. Oh! men in our audience who are married and settle down with a family, do you think that they envy you? Do your, your married friends envy you? I think that my married friends, yeah, they, they envy me, but they also live like vicariously that's through true. me yeah, because, you that's know, like true. I'm going out and getting taken on trips and getting driven around right. in sports cars and they got to go to the same job, go home to the same woman every day to two kids that don't like them that are just pains in the agree. ass. You know what I mean? I so. agree. Same thing with my friends. Same, same yeah. thing. My friends will say, I love my wife, which I believe that they do, but then they're on the phone. Dude, how was that one last night? How was the Laker game? Well, how was this? How was that? And it's yeah. like, well, if you care, so, well, get out there and do what I do then. I didn't, re I didn't make this up. Whoa. Well, listen, we tagged along with Robert on one of his nights out on the prowl, so let's have a look at that. I'm Rob Chance. I'm 34 years old, and I'm a suitcase pimp. The idea here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some female inside. She's going to take me home, then she's going to pay all my bills. And all I got to do is provide the service that Rob Chance provides. What are you drinking? I'm not a hater, am I? Oh, no. 
<laughs> How about you? What's in your cup? If I buy the first round, you buy the next one? I'm a porn star. Are you? Mm -hmm. Get these girls whatever they want, please. And I'll have another vodka and Sprite. Them too, please. All right, see you, man. Bye. Hey. Hey. Do you want to get coffee or something? So I guess you have to spin them a line about what you do and who you are. Do you make up a different story every, every time? Every time. you got to engage the woman yeah. like to what she, you think she might want to so hear. So what it's sort just, of things have you told women? Uh, well, pro athlete works a lot. A yeah. professional <laughs> hockey player or a yeah. you know, uh, baseball player, I get yeah. that one. Uh, yeah. What about overweight women? Would you date them? Overweight women? Yeah. No. That is the one thing I would not do. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in bed with a woman that's built like my father. No, it's just disgusting. So what? What do you mean by overweight? What is your definition of overweight? If you're standing in front of me and there's a mirror behind you, if I can't see me, you got to go. Have you ever had to have sex with a woman who was, you know, you had to kind of grit your teeth while you were doing it? Yeah. <laughs> totally. They make pills for that, thank God. But yes. <laughs> Okay, well stay with us. Don't change the channel because after the break, we'll meet a man who says he has slept with over 400 women and has just as many opinions about everything and anything around him. Stay tuned. Coming up. Do you consider a 61 inch television a luxury gift? It's not. Get out of here. That Are was you on kidding? the bottom of the list. Do you see oh. the ring, the cards, Listen. the anything? Wait. And later. You know how many women you give it up sell, and get no, nothing? No, no, no. You okay, can sell give it this. up and get nothing. Let me, you can sell this to them, but I know better. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Exposed. You're not gonna touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Chicken. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been talking to women and men who say it is literally their profession to have affairs with married men and women. Now, my next guest, Flash. Flash. Yeah. Flash. Is the kind of guy that you kind of love to hate and hate to love. He has been watching our show from the very beginning and he has got plenty to say to our guests. But before we meet him, let's hear about his take on life, love and the pursuit of lust. I'm Flash Rodriguez and I have an opinion on everything. I'm the voice of real men. I say what all real men are thinking. If your profile pic is just of your ass, then understand that when we message you, we're messaging you for your ass. We don't care about anything else about you. Gold diggers. Always want to move into a castle that's already built. So don't be surprised when you get booted out or executed. But there's no happily ever after for a gold digger. You are what you are. I don't date black women. I'm not attracted to them. And, you know, let's be honest, they all have bad attitudes. Look at a black woman next to you, she's got an attitude. Period. When men cheat, it's like premium We're not gonna leave our girl. But when women cheat, it's emotional. They're in love with the guy they cheated on you with. So you may as well get rid of her, because she's gone anyway. Ooh. What I want to know is, Flash, what do you think about what our guest said? I, I heard you make a comment about gold diggers, and right. would that apply to, to Sarah and MJ? MJ's a lot, and I'm, I'm saying what every guy is thinking. Yeah. They may not say it because they want to... But, and you guys throw out terms like investments and all that, but when I look at you and I want to know what your portfolio is, you got to turn around and show me your only asset. When you consider a 61-inch television a luxury gift... It's not. Get out of here. That what, was on the bottom me? of the list. Do you see oh. the ring, the cards, Listen. the anything? What do you Listen. think about what Robert does, uh, going with married men, uh, married women? I Honestly, think it's Married women. The more, the more I heard Robert's story, the more I got a, a gist of what... Robert's wants to be a gigolo, but gigolo, work, j gigolo works every day. So what's so major that you do? Because I understand you have veneers and all that. They're a bit size too big. He's kind of ugly, isn't he? What do you do? What do you do? Well, what, what, you want me to answer No, no I can only... <laughs> Can we 
speech. Thank settle you. down, settle down. We're talking in a moment about appearances. What is, and I asked Robert this question, what is your ideal woman? You said a, a, an Asian woman? Asian women, yeah. five, three or below. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just what I'm into. And what, you don't date black women? I don't date black what, women. Wh why? Yes. Hang on, let's hear. Oh, I love you to death. I just wouldn't date you. No, why not black women? I just don't like their attitude. What kind of attitude? A bad one. A bad one. <laughs> so, yeah. you never say attitude when it's in a good sense. Yeah. A bad one. Yeah. So, if you look at a black woman, most of them have bad attitudes. Either they're bitter, either they're... Hey, see? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? There it is. Like, I'm a black, I'm a black woman. I mean, I honestly, have you ever been Sorry. to a movie and had to turn around and tell a white couple to be quiet? Yes. <laughs> yeah? I yeah. Mean, it's rare. Up next. You know how many women you give it up say, and get no, nothing? No, no, no. You okay, can sell give it this, up and get nothing. Let me, you can sell this to them, but I, I know nothing. better. And later. Are you okay with being oh, a renter trophy? Right there. There's the action. Exposed. You're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Trisha. I'm Flash Rodriguez, and I have an opinion on everything. I'm the voice of real men. I say what all real men are thinking. Gold diggers always want to move into a castle that's already built, but there's no happily ever after for a gold digger. I don't date black women. I'm not attracted to them. And, you know, let's be honest, they all have bad attitudes. Look at a black woman next to you, she's got an attitude. I heard you make a comment about gold diggers, and would that apply to, to Sarah and MJ? When you consider a 61-inch television a luxury gift... It's not. Get out of here. That what was on the bottom me? of the list. You don't date black women? I don't date black women. Why? why? Hang on, let's hear. Oh, I love you to death. I just wouldn't date you. If you look at a black woman, most of them have bad attitudes. Either they're bitter, either they're... Hey, see? There it is. <laughs> see what I'm saying? There it is. How many women have you slept with, Flash, do you reckon? I Hundred? mean... <laughs> 400? 400? No, it's a joke. 400? <laughs> Close to. You I'm counted? never going to get a date after this. Yeah, you counted? I, I, I keep tracking away. So, how would you rate yourself in bed? On my nine. And what are you, Robert? Ask the girls. I, why well, ask well, you, me? Come on, you must rate yourself. Are you a good lover? You gotta be. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I right. got the whole make them before I do things so that they think I get. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the trick. Oh, you two are clapping because you do the same no, thing. I think it's funny. I'm the best at what I do. Uh, you saying you're the best? I think I'm the best at what I do. It's not even about me when I'm doing it. It's about them. So. What, that's, if that's right. what if they're ugly? What if they're no, ugly? What if they're ugly? What if they're ugly? Then I think about what's gonna happen when we're done. <laughs> if you're not giving up the booty, you're not getting the bounty. It's that simple. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. You know how many women you give it up and get no, nothing? No, no. You okay, can give it up this. and get nothing. Let me. You can sell this to them, but I know I better. I right. work in the All entertainment right. industry. Okay, okay, you, hey, 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 agree to differ, Definitely agree. Not. What? And it's, I'm a music executive now. You an executive? A and R, exactly. Are you an intern? I'm an A and R. Oh, okay. <laughs> Robert, um, one thing you and MJ have in common are, are children, but you, you're, you're a single mom, you're a single dad. I am. How did you end up a single dad? There's a mother yeah. that, you know, she had the baby and said, if you're not gonna marry me, then yeah. I'm not ha I'm not raising a kid. And she signed her over, and yeah. I've had custody of my daughter since she was an hour old. She's never met her. Uh, I've got to tell you actually you, you started an so organization, didn't you? you? I did. I started an organization called Did Dad's a g Dad's involved daily. Oh well, that's a good know. thing. And you two are beautiful. That's a good thing. Both of you young ladies that's are beautiful. I just Thank wish you. that you wouldn't go about things like you do. I mean, like, well, you're both beautiful. You don't know how I go about things. You, you hear like me. small segments. But you just told me. <laughs> no, I didn't. You told everybody. Here's something that I'm interested in. You're in the business of going with women with money. You're in the business of going with 
men with money. Yeah, do so why don't you so, yeah. three just all get it together? I've been trying to do that because... since I came out here. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with either one yeah. of these two. Over and over and over again. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You know what? And I so love, money, I lo I love white men. Mean. White is right. So I'm, I'm like you, Trisha. No, so I'm I don't. Like, hey, really, hey, hey. I, no, I love please it. Don't, don't say I, I am not with my man because of his color. I don't give a damn. It just happens to be. Right, right. Well, no, I don't. I don't discriminate. I would definitely date a white man. I would definitely be with one. I have before. Wow, you're a regular United Nations person. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Look, actually. Okay, we're going to take a break. We're going to take a break because I know people in our audience are dying to ask questions. <laughs> we will do that when we come back. See you in a minute. Up next. Are you okay with being oh, a Renner Trophy? Right there. Yeah. You are the power. You're up on stage. Gold diggers exposed. You're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Trisha. I'm sure you at home have been screaming at the television <laughs> at some of these outrageous things that our guests have been saying, and I think our audience feel exactly the same. They want to talk to our panel. All right, so people have questions for any of our panelists. Oh boy! Oh, right, this gentleman's right here. Yeah, stand up for me, sir. What would you? Who, who's your question for? My question is for Sarah. But I want to know. You said that black men prefer you. Why do you think that is? And are you okay with being a trophy, right a renter trophy? Right there. There's the <laughs> Are you okay with being like a runner trophy? In a way, yeah, of course. There's a lot of women that can't pay their bills, that can't do anything, and they're sleeping with these men for nothing, but yet you're about to, like, lose your apartment. You're about to lose your car. Like, it makes no sense to me. Do you all, do you use safe sex, all three of you? Of course. You use course. condoms? Condoms, yeah, yes, all yeah, day. MJ? When sex is involved, yeah, of course. Yeah, and protection. Robert? I don't even know what a condom is. Wait, I... <laughs> Oh, Flash, you like Michelle. You said Asian ladies and... Yeah, yeah. Like, I've been chasing Michelle around since I got here. I want to see, and I've asked all three of the other guests how they meet a woman. Michelle, if you wouldn't mind, come down to the stage. This we got to see. There you go. You got to be on, brother. All right. Flash, you're in a bar. You meet Michelle. What do you do? What do you say? You are, you are very beautiful. Okay. And I'm very single. I'm staying over at the Marriott. I would love for you to come by tonight and we watch a movie. That's code for sleep with you. The thing that he slept with over 400 people <laughs> just turned me but off. But you wouldn't know that. I don't want to be the, uh, like 401. Right. Michelle, come on up here. Let's take some questions Michelle, over you from are your very side. Beautiful. Yeah, you've got a lady on Absolutely. that side, Michelle. You take one from over there. Yeah. Flash? Oh, boy. You, you asked me for it, man. You disrespecting the, the sisters, especially the big ones? Well, guess what? I like big sisters. And even for girl, and you know what? Listen, the, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. the bigger, the better. Even for a girl look like Precious, I'll date her. For real. Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Then you and I need to go out together. Because the ones that attract me, they're too big. You be my wingman. We'll be good. <laughs> Here's another I'm, question. I'm, not putting out Listen, I'm sorry, but uh, this hear? is for you, MJ. I might not have much money or anything like that, but I guarantee you, though, that if you were to go out with me, I don't have to pay or anything like that, but I will actually show you and teach you the true meaning of love. And if, yeah, we, and if we have that spiritual connection... That's and, how a real man talks. And if we have that spiritual oh, okay. connection, I would date Thank you. Thank you. You ain't got a shot. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You ain't got a shot. Gold <laughs> diggers exposed. You're not going to touch me for free. This is not what I do. Today on Trisha. Okay, we, I, we, we've run out of time. I'm really sorry. And one thing I want to do is thank all of my wonderful guests for coming here today, sharing. <laughs> Interesting outlook on life. Now, you can find out more about today's guests on our website at www.trishashow.com. Uh, I'm going to thank you for watching, but, I, I, you know, 
We, we talked about songs, we were mentioning songs, and there's that Jesse J song. It's not always about the money, the money, the money. What about the heart, the heart? Thank you for watching. Take care. Okay. <laughs>